Hi everyone and welcome back. So in today's video I'm going to be sharing five spring themed art and drawing ideas. And as spring is pretty much here now, I thought it would be a really nice um, video to make. So I really hope that you guys will uh, grab your own sketchbooks, your own art supplies and come along with me and draw some spring and floral drawings today. And as always, this video is just an idea sort of video, so you can take the ideas, adapt them however you want, and hopefully if you're looking for some inspiration, then this video will be helpful for you. So for this first page, I'm drawing what I like to call doodle flowers, and they're very, very simple to make, but the nice thing is that once you're finished with them, they actually look quite a bit more complicated than they are. So all you have to do is start off by drawing a circle. You can draw a circle freehand, you can, ha you can use a circular ruler like I did. You can find something around your house that's circular, um, maybe a, a coin or a little reel of washi tape. Just find something circular, trace around it a few times on the page and then you have the bases and then you can just embed, decorate them in, in the middle of those circles and draw on petals. And we're, I'm going for quite abstract flowers here and they're, they're quite bold and quite graphic. They're not realistic in any way, but you can draw overlapping circles around the outside. You can draw tiny little circles, then draw a larger petals round on top of them. And you can really have a lot of fun and vary these flowers and the nice thing is because you're starting from a circle they all end up looking very cohesive and I did a quite a few different embellishments in the centres, I did some swirls, some little circles, you can have a lot of fun and experiment and make your own little doodle flowers and I'm using this black brush pen here, I don't often use black as a liner but I wanted this because it helped them to have a really graphic and almost a kind of pop art sort of feel to them. And as always, I will leave a full list of all the supplies that I've used in today's video in the description box below. So if you are ever watching any of my videos and you want to know what brand of pen or what brand of markers I'm using or what sketchbook I'm using, whatever, if you have any questions about the supplies, I always leave a full list with all the names in the description box below. So remember to check there if you have any questions. So now I'm just going in with my markers and I'm colouring this in. You can of course use whatever supplies you have at home for this part and I've picked out six colours. So I've picked a purple, a yellow, a blue, a green, an orange and a pink and I just wanted some nice bright spring colours but I've tried to um, pick some slightly, I haven't picked gone for pastel tones but I haven't gone for bright primary tones either, they're sort of in the middle and I'm just using those six colours to colour in the little bright flowers and I really like how this page turned out. It's 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 very bold and by the time you've finished it, it just they look like little scattered stickers on the page. It's a really fun page to make but it's also very easy to adapt to whatever you want and I, I like, particularly like working with a circle as the base because it makes all the flowers look uniform but it it also help, it just means that you have a starting point to draw the petals round, you can draw the petals any shape, any size you want, it's just a really easy page to make. So that's the first page and now for the second page I'm going to be again starting with a circle and for this page we're going to make a flower lady character and I'm starting with a circle and again I'm drawing a load of petals round the outside in a similar way as I did in the first page and then I drew some uh, eyelashes and some lips on the in, inside the flower, inside the centre of the flower and now I've kind of drawn a leaf body, a leaf, uh, a dress made of leaves and some little stalks for the arms and the feet and this is something that, you, again, it's really easy to adapt. So you could pick any flower that you like. Um, you could draw an iris or a sunflower or a poppy. Now this flower that I've drawn here is not any flower in particular. I've sort of I've just drawn an abstract random flower. This isn't a realistic flower, but if you wanted, if you had a favorite flower, go ahead and draw that flower out as the top, draw a face in the middle of the flower and then draw the leaves down for the dress and it's really fun to make these flower characters and you could easily do if you wanted like a whole series of them and do a different flower character for each, um, a different character for each flower in other words. And now I've, I'm going in and I'm colouring again with the markers and for most of this video I'm using the, the same colour scheme. I added it, I added in a couple more greens to add some variation in her dress. But I, I'm using pretty much the same six bright spring colours for the whole of this video. And I, I lined it using two 
coloured fine liners. I used a pink for the flower and a green for the dress so that the so that you would barely see the lines and it's something that I particularly like to do especially when I'm drawing flowers or natural elements is to use a liner that is a very similar colour to the colour that I'm going to colour with just so that the lines sort of blend in. And then the last thing I did for this page was to add a little blue a rectangle behind her to add a little bit of a background and there we have a very fun and whimsical little flower character. So for this next page I were going to create a flower design, a flower pattern and I particularly like this page because you don't have to do any sketching. There are no, there's no line art, there's no sketching and all you need to, all you're going to use are the markers themselves. Now you could use pencils for this or paints. I think this would work very well with paints. I think it works particularly well if you have a, an art supply um, that has a brush tip. So a brush pen, a, a brush marker, a water-based marker that has a brush tip or a paintbrush. And you're just going to make little flowers and scatter them all over the page. So for that first purple flower, I just used the brush tip to create uh, six little petals for each flower. And then for this next flower, I'm sort of making, it's a little bit like a rose, and I'm just making little random petals that overlap each other, but I'm making sure that none of the petals are touching. So for each one of these flowers, I'm leaving white in between each of the petals, and now I'm going in with some yellow and adding some little, I'm just flicking the, bra flicking the marker to create those little yellow flowers. Now I'm going in with the blue. Again, I'm using the same six colours that I picked out at the beginning of this video and when you're creating a pattern like this there are a couple of things that to help it look really nice. The first thing is to scatter everything and the second thing is to have some objects going off the edge. So take the pattern right the way to the edge of the paper and draw so it looks as if the pattern is, is a complete repeat on the paper. And I've added in some leaves and I'm adding in some little dots and some little sprigs and that's the little repeat pattern and it's such a simple and fun page to make and all you need is a, a brush, an art supply that has a brush on the end to make those little flowers. So for this next page, this page is a little bit more complicated. Um, but what I wanted to do was to design some spring themed jewellery and again this is something that you can adapt to suit however you like working. So I've started out by drawing a girl and I've just sort of drawn a girl with her hair up so that I could, I, I drew her with her hair up so that I could hang down the earrings and have the necklace and so that the focus would be on the jewellery. So I wanted to design a little range of spring, a little spring jewellery range. So you sort of imagine that, that you've been asked to create uh, a, earrings, a necklace, maybe some hair clips or a tiara or um, uh, some bracelets, just kind of think of a nice range of spring themed jewellery and then design it yourself. So what I've done is I've drawn the girl in the middle so that she can model the jewellery and then round the outside I've drawn each one of the elements out separately so you can see quite clearly what they are because when I put all the different hair clips in her hair I realised that it wasn't obvious that they were hair clips so I drew the three different types of hair clips out on the page, I drew the earring out, and then I also drew the necklace out in the upper right hand corner as well and I gave her pink hair just to have just to be a little bit different and also to in, again in keeping with the colours that I've picked for this video and I had a lot of fun doing this page and you can adapt um, and sort of think of some jewellery that you might like to wear. I don't think I'd probably wear the necklace, I think it's a bit long for me but I particularly liked the little hair clips and it's a really sort of fun little page to make and it's a nice way to fill a whole page up. Sometimes when you're working, uh, particularly for this page, I just had the girl in the middle and there was quite a lot of white space around the outside so by drawing out the jewellery that she's wearing it filled up the page and it makes a really nice little page and if you wanted to take any of these elements further or you were just sort of practicing some concept ideas it's a nice way of sort of doing a concept ideas page particularly if you were designing a, an original character or something like that you could do a concept page like this and keep it as a reference so whenever you were redrawing your character and you wanted to double check you know her earrings or her necklace or the hairstyle um, you can go back through your sketchbook and find these concept pages and I think that's a really nice and fun idea. So for this last page, it's a little bit more abstract, um, but it's one of my favourite things that I've made recently. So what I've done is I've taped uh, around the edge of the page with some washi tape, 
And then I've taken three inks, and these are the Distress Oxide inks. They're really lovely, blendable pigment. They're a fusion of pigment and dye inks, and they they have a re they have really lovely bl uh, blending qualities. So what I'm doing is I'm making a blended gradient background. Now you could do this with watercolors or with markers. I have these inks. I particularly like using them. Um, and then I'm just taking up the washi tape so that the page had a nice white border. And that's one of the things I really love doing when I'm using inks or creating gradients is to uh, mask off a border and now I'm going in with a white paint pen and drawing on some poppies and what I really love about this page is that it's well it's very quick to make um, you get that lovely gradient background but it's a very soft and very subtle look and you could draw any sort of flower you wanted on top of it I really tried to make all these ideas in this video very easy for you to adapt so if you liked the technique but you didn't want to draw the poppies but you liked the blended ink background you could easily go ahead and just take the elements that you liked from each page and create um, your own page and just sort of just take the things that you like and I wanted each page to be very easy to adapt to whatever you wanted um, whatever you like and whatever you wanted to draw so that's the last page I particularly like the, the soft look of the poppies and the white against the inks and so those are the five pages that I've created for today's video they're all very floral themed very bright and colorful and hopefully very spring like so anyway I hope you enjoyed this video let me know in the comments below which one of these pages you liked best and if you end up trying any of these pages out and posting them online make sure you tag me on Instagram then that way I can see what you guys are doing and I always love seeing the pages that you guys create from these videos so anyway I hope you enjoyed the video um, make sure you leave any questions down below let me know which page you like best and I will see you guys next time